What is your best my friend is dating a terrible person and nobody can get through to them. Story? They got together, and she immediately took over his house which she began referring to as her house. He would come home, and find out, that she had her father over, and they too would actually remodel portions of the house without even letting him know. Jude was a commercial artist, so he had a small office slash studio in one of the unused bedrooms. While he was at work, her and her dad took everything out of his office slash studio, moved it to the basement, and then moved the washer and dryer to that room. Then, apparently, realized that there were no ducts for the dryer and they needed some 220 outlets installed, so she called him at work, pissed that his house sucked, and he needed to get an electrician over there as soon as possible to fix this, which he did paying the emergency rate. Was hoping he'd see the light. Unfortunately he did, but only after two kids and her forcing him to quit his good job with benefits. The guy loved bragging about what a dick he was. Treated her like shit, and never seemed interested in her, until he found out how rich she was one of her dad's companies got sold, and the news was public, so her dad couldn't keep his name off the Forbes list. Then, he publicly declared they are together, after 3 years of toying with her. At every family event he was at, he just treated it like one big networking bonanza. Doesn't seem to have a clear job, but claims he's in finance claimed to be working remotely while freeloading at her parents place for six weeks and happily treating all their household staff like they were his employees we all tried telling her and even though we are like sisters she actually told me it's okay if you don't like him you don't have to her father reminded her that it's in their family constitution that any potential spouse must be thoroughly vetted by private investigators first he gave her the courtesy of warning her that he was going to do it in exchange for her agreement that she won't tell him while the investigation is ongoing. She confidently agreed, completely believing he'd come clean. Yeah, the asshole was cheating on her. She was a mess for the longest time but fortunately, she's fine now and married to the most awesome guy ever. Oh, I had one of those friends back in high school. She and this other kid started dating all love Adove for a while. But after a bit she completely shut down to all of us. It was like something inside of her died. She started saying how she wanted out of the relationship and how she couldn't stunt him anymore. But for some reason she just never broke up with him. He got worse and worse with her over time. Started hitting her and threatening her. Eventually her parents and the police got involved and they broke up for like a month or two. But then they just got back together. From then on she weirdly seemed to bounce back and forth between being super in love with him, and happy that they are together, to looking all dead inside, and seeming unable to stand him and it just went on like that. He'd go too far, they'd break up for a bit, and then get back together again over and over. We all tried to talk some sense into her, but she'd get angry at everyone, telling us it's none of our business and we should stay out of her life. I think her best friend got so frustrated with her over that, that she completely cut her out, because she couldn't talk sense into her or help her, but she also couldn't stand to watch it go on. We lost touch pretty quick after high school, so I don't really know how she ended up. I want to believe everything turned out alright, but it's so easy to see a scenario where she ended up marrying that guy out of high school, and spent the rest of her life miserable and trapped with him. When I was in high school, my best friend started dating a fellow that was known to be a pose, but she was in love, and we couldn't convince her that it was a bad idea. He started beating her almost immediately, but that didn't deter her at all. He would take her car and pick up other girls, but they were just friends. She got him a cell phone in her name and ran up enormous bills that she couldn't pay. He gave her herbers, and we were like okay, maybe now she will leave him. Nope. He was street racing in her car and smashed it up, and she forgave him, even though she couldn't afford to get it fixed. He took all her money. We begged and pleaded with her to leave him, and she said she would, but then secretly kept seeing him. Then one night we went to a community dance and he started strangling her in front of everyone. It took three huge guys to get him off her, and the police were called. He ended up leaving her after that, and she was devastated. The hold he had over her was crazy. And what was even more crazy were the girls that got together with him after all this happened, knowing fully well what he was like. Insanity. I watched my best friend's wife thankfully now ex systematically dismantle him. It was horrible to watch. 
I was vocal about how much it bothered me and it drove a wedge between us, and some years passed where we didn't speak to each other. We have since reconnected, and she is out of the picture. It was hard hearing him say dude you were the only one who told me it was a bad idea and I pushed you away, but I'm glad he saw the light. They broke up, and got back together 11 times. That's not just an arbitrary number one pulled out of my ass. I was keeping count and it finally ended with breakup hash 12, when she took a trip without inviting him, or telling him she was going, and posted a bunch of pics to Instagram of her with the guy she was cheating on my friend with. This might not be what this thread is looking for, but in this case the friend was me. My ex-wife would invite a couple of her friends over once a week for dinner. Whatever else she was, she was an excellent cook. She was also sleeping with at least three other guys, and carrying on an online affair. I suspect her one friend knew about it, and tried to tell me about it over dinner on more than one occasion. She explained that she had a friend who was getting married, but her fiancé didn't know that she was cheating on him all the time. With a bunch of different guys. And I would say, well why don't you tell him? And she would go, it's... complicated. I know him well enough, but she's been my friend for years and I don't want to alienate that friendship. It was a recurring topic of conversation at weekly dinner. We were divorced by the time I realized she was talking about me. Date is probably not the right four letter word to use here, but I had a friend who was head over heels for a guy that was basically just using her as a sex toy for years. She'd maintain his house, take care of his pets and basically bend over backwards for him for anything both figuratively and literally, because she thought it would make him love her eventually. Thing is, it was not mutual. He didn't like her like that, only saw her as a friend which he openly admitted to both us and her, but she didn't get it slash was in denial. He would also constantly berate her right in front of us. He was very quick to anger, and would often try to intimidate slash threaten people that were disagreeing with him. He wasn't stupid though, he would never make actual threats of violence, just raise his voice a bit, move closer to you to skirt that line. He was a very fit guy so it often worked. Anyway this went on for years, which amazed me the most, because I've never seen a friends with benefits relationship go that long. Usually someone eventually says duck this and moves on by then, but nope she did not. He kept dating other girls, which would emotionally destroy her, but she'd stick around and keep taking care of his stuff for him. Then the guy and his GF would break up, so they'd go back to their FWB situation, which she was seemingly content with, since it meant they got to be together in some capacity. Then he'd find another girl to date, and they'd back to square one. To this day it is the most bizarre semi-abusive relationship I've ever seen. I haven't spoke with her in a while, so I kind wonder if they are still doing this. The whole thing feels like a really slow ticking time bomb ready to go off but it just won't. Soon after getting together, she moved into his apartment. She turned his spare bedroom slash office into her music room. Next she turned his garage into her yoga studio she never did yoga. She preferred his car, but wouldn't let him drive hers, meaning there were many nights where he was suck at home while she was out with her friends. She controlled his drinking. The few times he was out he was allowed one drink which she usually drank, while she got totally rat faced. She often stayed over at other guy friends houses cause it's too late to drive home. She planned an elaborate holiday trip, which he paid for, to visit her ex relationship lasted a little under a year before she broke up with him because he turned 36 and she only dates guys who are 35 buddy of mine started dating a stripper and was absolutely smitten with her there's nothing wrong with that profession but he was just kind of at a different place in life than her and we all knew there was no way it was going to work out he can party but she was absolutely wild we all tried to gently point this out to him but he wouldn't hear any of it, and got upset with us for trying to sabotage his happy relationship. As things moved forward, she started having angry outbursts and literally just running away almost every time we'd hang out. Still, he persisted with the relationship. Eventually, she was ousted from her apartment for not paying rent, and to all of our dismay, my friend invited her to move in with him. I've never face palmed so hard in my life, but he's an adult, and can make his own decisions. 
It ended several weeks later, when he came home, to find she had thrown all of his clothes and belongings out the window onto the sidewalk in a tantrum, and was trying to kick him out of his own apartment. He finally saw the light. Funny side note, a week before he met her, my girlfriend at the time and I were out drinking, and she commented on how she'd always kind of wanted to go to a strip club, so we made the drunk decision to call a limo and go. It turned out to be the club my friend's ex worked at on a night she was a regular, so I probably saw her bobs before he did. My sister-in-law dated this high school dropout pothead Tony forever. In fairness, they started dating in middle school, and we are on again off again for years. No one, even her parents, could understand what she saw in this guy who had no background, no ambition, and no discernible good qualities. He was just the local neighbor kid who started creeping on my sister-in-law when they were young and would never go away. She just kept telling us we don't see what she sees in him at all. Eventually we just accepted that nothing we said was going to change her mind. And after a decade or so we got to know him and realized that he absolutely loved her with his whole heart and would do anything for her. He was actually really handy with a strong work ethic. He's great with kids and will be a great dad. Turns out, he realized early on that he loved her, and it's actually a boy meets girl hometown romance. She saw all this in him the whole time and we never really looked past the surface. They finally got married a few weeks ago, and I couldn't be happier to call him my brother-in-law. We had one friend in our group, who was this introverted but sweet guy. He hooked up with a girl we called the troll. I don't quite know what he saw in her, maybe he was just lonely, but she was unattractive, unpleasant, unintelligent, and most importantly, she was terribly domineering. Like she was telling him off, and telling him what to in public, I dread to think what it would be like in private. She was also cutting him off from his friends, especially female ones. They're married with twins now, and none of our friend group are in in contact with him anymore. Last I saw him was his engagement party, 